Today on the channel, we're going to take this flat boring look here and we're going to turn it into something that's a little bit more poppy with this image here, a Bollywood inspired look, you might say. G'day, welcome back. How are we all doing? So it's Sunday afternoon. It's a nice sunny day. So I thought I would make, well, I thought I'd jump inside and then just do this grading instead of actually living my life. Anyway, let's look at this image. So we're using Pocket 4K, I believe, hoodie. So Black Magic Pocket 4K. The first thing we'd normally do is do a color space transform here, and then we'd go back and we'd do a color space transform here, IDT, ODT. But because this is black magic footage, we don't actually have to do that. So that is super handy. So instead of doing a color space transform, what we'd want to do is come to our little project settings here, come to camera raw, and we want to go to black magic raw. We want to make sure these are our settings here. Black magic is doing our color space transform for us. So we don't actually have to do it. So this is my color science, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We want to work in DaVinci White Gamut. And you don't have to, of course. You can work in all these other flavors, flavors of uh, color space. And everything else is pretty much the same. I'm not going to put on highlight recovery, but that is something you can do. Now, we do have to do a ODT. So what I've done is in my settings here, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. I've gone from that DaVinci White Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, Rec 709, Gamma 2.4, Lumens Mapping, Etc. Etc. This is all things you've seen before, but if you haven't, these are looks so you can pause the video and copy these if you like. So let's go full screen. Image beforehand, we've done that color space transform, and then this is afterward. So as you can see, we're just putting our video here into the proper space that it was recorded on on the day. So we're meaning that we're just we're not actually going to grade from the raw image. We're putting back into the camera setting. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, all in all, it's a really nice looking scene. We have great costumes here. Uh, we have nice colors going on. The set dressing looks really good. Nice uh, dancing in the background here. They're having a great time. I mean, why wouldn't you? This looks like a fantastic day. I think they're getting married, maybe. I have no idea. Anyway, so let's jump into the grade. Now, the first thing that I did is I chose a LUT. So I've designed a new LUT. So this is with the LUT off, and this is with the LUT on. So this is based on a Fuji 500T film. It's based on the actual stock. It's not based on my interpretation of it. It's actually based on a, um, well, it's really complicated. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really explain it very well, but there's a lot going on underneath this LUT. So all you need to know is it's based on a Fuji 500T LUT with a few little adjustments going on. What we have is we have a little bit of a problem and that is it's quite dark. Even though it looks quite nice at the moment in terms of our skin tones and everything else, we do need to make some major changes. In my exposure node, and also I'm working in a fixed node tree, I think I've said that before, but this is all gonna change. So I'm gonna do something else. So let's just pretend like this is the last time you see it, even though I probably won't. So in my exposure node here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost this right up because we're really dark and we need to boost it up because we wanna get that exciting look. This is what we're working with now. So it's looking really nice. It's sitting in a really good place, but we need to boost it up a little bit the whole thing is looking a little bit one color. We need to get that nice color separation going on. We have a few little issues in the background. This bright light is a little bit of an issue. And this man's shirt here is popping out too much. So we need to kind of fix all this stuff up. So then I thought, well, in my second note, let's just add a little bit of a boost here. So off, on. So we're just adding a little bit more brightness to the mid-tones here. We're just sort of bringing everything up. That's sitting in a nice place. So this is a really good step here. Happy with what is going on so far. And I was like, well, you know what? We need to add some contrast. It's looking a little bit contrasty, but I'm sure we can do a little bit more. So just add it a little bit more. We want those shadows to be a little bit darker. And we want that nice contrasty, oversaturated looking image going for a more of a fancy look, if anything, I'm not going for something that's you're going to see when you're walking down the street. So anyway, this is what that is doing. So let's focus on our balance here and let's look at this image. So we'll go full screen. What's the one thing that jumps out to you when you look at this? For me, it is pink. This image is just at the moment one color. It does not look great. So my issue was that the skin tones look a little weird and everything is a little pinky. Like I don't mind that their skin tones are this color, but the problem is, is everything else the same color? So we're just a wash. We're having a washing of pink and we don't want that. So all I did is I brought that to a more neutral place. So this looks to me a million times better. Like she's really popping out now and he looks 10 times better. So before and afterwards. Now, 
You could go for this look if you want, maybe back it off. So maybe I'd say somewhere in between here. But I thought that this looks a lot better. She stands out more, he stands out more. And we can do things in the background to fix this. So this light here, this dude shirt here. Now let's move on to our saturation here. So with my saturation here, because we're going for that Bollywood look, I thought we would make a lot of saturation. So with my saturation node here, I'm working in the HSV color space. So we're gonna be using our gain and gamma here. And then when it comes to our node here, we wanna work in our second channel, not our first. So we're just working in saturation. We're not working in hue and vibrance. So if we go full screen, so this is our image before that saturation node is on. We're looking a little bit flat. Then afterwards, looking a lot better. So all we're really doing is bringing out the color in their attire here. So her pink and his jacket here, and even these guys back here. We're just making everything just pop. We really want to just make this image pop. So all in all, sitting in a good spot. We're not insanely saturated, so it's not like, that really, uh, I forget the word, but it's not that really over the top saturation that really turns you off. It's really nice, gentle saturation. Moving on to our highlight one. So before when I was talking about this area, now we're gonna be talking about this in another video. This is just another little trick that is gonna help you out in terms of grading. This is actually something that will help you so much when it comes to color grading. So we'll talk about this in another video or I've already spoken about it, oh, I'm not sure, but I'm sort of just preempting myself here. So what I've done is I've gone to my qualifier and I've just qualified the areas of the image that are way too bright with our highlights. And then I've gone down to my highlights here and just pushed it way, way down. So if I were to bring this up, we'll turn this garbage off. So this is before we've done anything in terms of highlight and then this is afterwards. So I don't know if you can see that on the tubes, but Basically what we're doing is actually muting that highlight. So we're just bringing it right down and we're just focused on this area. We're not doing the whole area because then that will make our whole image darker, but we're just trying to bring it down. So the way the human eye works when it comes to looking at an image, it would automatically go to the brightest thing in the image. Now for me, when I look at this image, this was the brightest thing. So I just turn that right down and now we're getting a more muted uh, look to it. We're not getting that really, um, eye-catching look. So this was something that really helped with this image. I can actually show you what it would look like if I copy this node with the qualifier off. So we'll turn this off. So this is beforehand and then this is afterwards. So the reason why we do that qualification is because we just wanna focus on this area here, not the whole image. So that is a nice little trick, which we'll go through in another video or oh, I've already done it, like I said before. So I'll turn this garbage off, it looks horrible and then turn that garbage on because it looks good. Now this note here is a saturation hue. So what I'm gonna do is bring up my effects here. So when it comes to this node, I really wanted to focus on parts of the image I wanted saturated and parts of the image I wanted desaturated and density, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll just go through it quick. So I wanted my greens to be down. I wanted them to be less dense. I mean, more bright. So do, 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 do. go at the back here. And then my cyan. So this was a really interesting one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Turn this off, so put it to zero, and I want you to look at the floor here. So let's turn this on. We have this really weird teal color going on, which I really didn't like, and it, it made it look a little bit muddy, and it just didn't look like it was sitting in a good spot. So we turn that back on. Now you can see we have a much cleaner look. We have a nice cleaner white look, so that's working really well. And we also have this magenta one, so I can just turn this magenta off and on. And that's just really focusing on her dress here. And then all in all, we're just going through each one in the saturating one. So this one was more about trying to pull the attention away from these girls and guys in the back and put it more on these guys here because they are the center of attention. We want the eye to be focused on this couple here. Even though these guys and girls are doing some cool stuff in the background, doing a cool dance, <laughs> especially this girl. We still want the focus to be on these guys. So I wanted to desaturate everything else and just focus our eye on these people here. This is off. We have that really weird teal look going on and this is on. So we're really just desaturating stuff. And I know we're changing this girl's dress, but that doesn't really matter that much because in the end, it's her dress and this guy that we're focusing on. So again, off and on. To make these guys stand out even more, what I've done is I've done a simple power window around them. 
So on, and then off, on, off, on. They were getting a little bit lost in the image, I thought. So what I wanted to do is I really just wanted to actually just boost them right up. So this is off, looking a little bit muddled in our entire image, and this is on. And I know it looks like it's a little over the top, and maybe it is. We can always turn this down. But again, we're going for that kind of like fantasy look. Like this is not what you'd see in real life, but I was happy with this. I want all the attention to be on these people. It is kind of like an over the top kind of scene. So I think it looks really good. And if you wanted to, we could just simply go down to our little qualifier here and we could just bring it down if we want to sit in a better spot. So off, on. So you get my point here. We're just trying to bring these people out from again, the background here. I think it looks really good. Well, let me know what you think. I really like these uh, Bollywood color grades. I reckon they're so cool. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this guy here. So after I did the grade, I realized that this guy with the cool moves here, he was actually like standing out way too much because he's red, really catches your eye. So in color grading, one of the colors that catches our eye the most is actually red. So this guy outfit is really, really too much. If I'm looking at this image, I'm looking at this guy straight away and not these people here. So what I did is I used a qualifier, qualified him, which I don't particularly like, but in this case, it was okay. I've got to turn the note on, sorry. So I did a really rough qualifier, and then I also did a magic mask. Now my magic mask is all over the shop, and it was a actual massive pain, because this guy would actually walk in front. So I had to go frame by frame to get him out of the way. So thank you, magic mask, for being an average piece of equipment. And then I also put a power window around him because I just wanted to really focus on this guy. So if we go full screen here, so this is off. And as you can see, he's really bright, really saturated, really too much. We're taking our focus away from this couple here. And then we turn it on. We're just bringing that color right down. And it actually looks better anyway because it looks more muted. It looks more natural. And now our eye is focused on this couple here, not this guy in the background doing his cool dance. Now I'd probably want to go back and clean it up a little bit because his skin tone is being a little bit affected, but this was a really rough and quick job. So if I would do this for a client, I would go back and fix it up just a little bit off on, oh, it's not too bad actually. In fact, you know what, it's fine. Forget I said that, I'm not even gonna cut out the edit. Let's move on to our next one and we're gonna talk about Blurring out the people in the background. So again, we want our focus to be on this couple here. And again, we can use some color grading tricks to make that happen. So all I've done is a simple power window around these people, as you can see here. And then I've come up to my effects. Is it Gaussian blur? Is that how you pronounce that word? Gaussian blur? I don't know. Gaussian blur around this image here. So this is off and this is on. Now it's really, really subtle. It's not over the top. It's just sort of blurring out the edges here, but it is doing a nice job. Off, on, off, on. Now you probably can't even tell it's on on the tubes, but I can assure you it's there. And again, we're just sort of drawing our eye to a middle of this image here. Let's move on to, which is a really interesting one, glow. So when I did this image, I wanted it to pop even more. So let's go full screen. I've just done a little bit of a glow. So that is on, that is off. Now you probably can't see this, but if we look at his shirt here, but basically look at the midtones and the highlights in our image here, we're just sort of boosting them up. And it's actually really, glow is a really good way just to make your image a little bit brighter without changing too much. So off again and on, and it's just getting that little bit of a boost in the end of our scene to get this nice looking image here. Everyone's having such a great time. I wish I was here, but of course they didn't invite me because I have no idea why. Maybe because we've never met before. So I think that's our image. Let me just double check anything else. No, that is it. Fantastic. We can finish up this video. So we'll go full screen here. This is our image. Before we've done any adjustments to our clip here, flat, boring, no good. No one's gonna pay you for this job unless they have no idea about color grading and cameras, <laughs> which is fantastic. Give me the money. And this is our clip afterwards. So a very vibrant, saturated image. Maybe it's too much. No, I think it looks great. It is that big Bollywood look, and I think it looks fantastic. 
Let me know if you're a Bollywood fan in the comments. Let me know if you're a colorist who's working in India. I think you guys do some of the best work in the world. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're working on or even show me your stuff. I'll leave an email where you can send me some of your clips. Really interested to see how you tackle your color grading and what you can come up with. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day and a weekend and I don't know, all the rest that happens in the world. And uh, let me know what you're doing in the comments below and what else you would like to see. I'm going to go, I have no idea, maybe eat some dinner, even though it's four in the afternoon. I've been Drew from Haiti Films and have a great day and thanks for watching.